Hi friends. I would like to read you a story today by E. Louise Smythe. She was born a very long time ago, in the year 1858. And in 1896, she wrote a book called Old Time Stories, Fairy Tales, and Myths Retold by Children. And this is a story from that book called The Little Pine Tree. It has no pictures. So if you want, take a deep breath. And if you want, you can close your eyes and just listen. This is The Little Pine Tree by E. Louise Smith. A little pine tree was in the woods. It had no leaves. It had needles. The little tree said, I do not like needles. All the other trees in the woods have pretty leaves. I want leaves too. But I will have better leaves. I want gold leaves. Night came and the little tree went to sleep. A fairy came by and gave it gold leaves. When the little tree woke, it had leaves of gold. It said, oh, I am so pretty. No other tree has gold leaves. Night came. A man came by with a bag. He saw the gold leaves. He took them all and put them into his bag. The poor little tree cried, oh, I do not want gold leaves again. I will have gold glass leaves. So the little tree went to sleep. The fairy came by and put the glass leaves on it. The little tree woke and saw its glass leaves. How pretty they looked in the sunshine. No other tree was so bright. Then a wind came up. It blew and blew. The glass leaves all fell from the tree and were broken. Again, the little tree had no leaves. It was very sad and said, I will not have gold leaves, and I will not have glass leaves. I want green leaves. I want to be like the other trees. And the little tree went to sleep. When it woke, it was like other trees. It had green leaves. A goat came by. He saw the green leaves on the little tree. Ma -a, ma -a. The goat was hungry. He ate all the leaves. <laughs> Then the little tree said, I do not want any leaves. I will not have green leaves, nor glass leaves, nor gold leaves. I like my needles best. And the little tree went to sleep. The fairy gave it what it wanted. When it woke, it had its needles again. The little pine tree was happy. Thank you for listening. That is The Little Pine Tree by E. Louise Smythe.